some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in Ohio with a soft hard who, uh, well, pulls out all the shenanigans necessary for a traffic stop. And these shenanigans include demanding to see the supervisor, in addition to claiming that he's going to charge the officers 1,000 silver dollars per violation on this person. But of course, this doesn't work on the uh, supervisor because I'm sure he's seen it all before. So the dude gets hauled away in a nice shiny pair of silver bracelets instead of getting his silver dollars. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. But as soon as I pull up with my lights on in my uniform, full uniform, that is you, my, presence, my presence. My presence enough for you, sir. Is, is, and I'm glad to comply. You're not complying. No, no, you're not at all. You understand? I you do understand not understand. Not I do not understand. Okay. I'm happy to comply. You're not providing Absolutely me. Absolutely happy. You could be a convicted felon right now. I, I have no will. Idea. You know that. I do not understand. I could be in danger right now. You're not in danger. I could be, though. You are not People in danger. Lie to me all I the certify time. to you that I, you all are right. not in danger. Well, the video starts right here, so we don't have any context as to why the driver is saying that he's not dangerous, but every uh, state trooper has to be careful because you know what? These sovereign citizens uh, can be a bit goofy at times. So taking precautions can be quite understandable. Oh yeah, and add to the fact that this Sovtard has got his children involved in this too, which they are sitting in the back seat watching all this transpire and having to see his failed arguments firsthand. Well, uh, that's most unfortunate there too. Why do you have all this? Where are you coming from? Am I obligated to answer those questions? Am I under an obligation to answer? Am I under arrest? If I'm under arrest, am I obligated? Right now you're lawfully seized by law, sir, and I'm going to issue exactly. a citation to you as well, soon as I can okay, find out what your that, I will. Is. I will be glad to... As soon as you provide me that, which I can lawfully drag you out of this car right now, put you in the back and... That and would be unlawful, my, sir, no, and I not, don't understand. But I will comply once I get that last bit of information from you. Do you as you are about to hear the piece of information that the Sov Tard wants from the officer before he'll comply is his driver's license. It sounds like he wants to play a role reversal game with the officer. Well, I don't think the officer wants to play that game, so let's continue on. Do you have a driver's license or some type of Sir, I can't give ID any, for any driver's well, license or any form of I know, I know you can, I can't. but. You're I cannot. saying you're refusing, I'm right? Refusing, okay, yes. thank you. I'm now, refusing. what I will do, since you're you refusing, I will be glad to get you my driver's license and proof of in insurance for commercial driving. Right now, I'm traveling. I'm under common law jurisdiction. Soft hard script activated. I am not driving. I am traveling. I am traveling under common law therefore you have no jurisdiction over me because i am not driving in commerce because you know a driver only does commerce and i don't identify myself as a driver i am a soft hard robot who needs to be fed a script by somebody else so i'll be glad to give you that, uh, do you have a phone number where you can be reached at your at your post? 409-562-8040. 409-862-8040. Okay. Well, thank you for your cooperation. And I will provide you with those commercial documents you request. But at this time, I am informing you that I am not under jurisdiction. I am not operating under commercial jurisdiction. I am traveling. Well then, Mr. Traveler, why don't you go travel your happy ass to the local law library and actually read some statutes and find out how wrong you are. Because I guarantee that if you try this in front of a judge, it will not succeed. Especially if you go pro se. Do you have any weapons in the vehicle, sir? Sir, I'll be glad to answer any questions for you once your supervisor comes. Do you have any weapons on you? I will be. I do not mean you any harm. 
and I will be glad to answer any questions and discuss this once your supervisor arrives. Thank you. Do you actually think that the supervisor will be on your side in this issue? No, he's not going to want to have a long, drawn-out conversation with you on the side of the road. That is for the courts. That is a, definitely a matter for the courts. If you need that taken care of, do it there, not on the side of the road. Right now, I have to inform you that you are making me very nervous, holding my door open like oh, that. Okay, Here is... A commercial driver's license. And here is proof of commercial liability insurance. Oh, 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 okay. You actually have a driver's license and proof of insurance, huh? I thought that was for only commercial purposes. And you say you don't drive in commerce. You're quite the contradiction aren't you? But then what do you expect from a lead paint drinking soft tart anyway who likes the smell of his own farts? Now I also must inform you that I do charge for any things that I consider violations against my freedom as a man. I am not charging you at this time but I will charge you if you keep me longer than 10 minutes if you do me any harm, if you put me in shackles, if you arrest me... Yeah, you wouldn't be a really perfect soft heart unless you had a fee schedule that you could throw in somebody's face and hope that they pay it to you, which they never will. But that's enough of those shenanigans. Let's get to the part where the uh, supervisor arrives. Supervisor, you go ahead Thank you. Thank him. you so much. Now, I will close the door and I'll speak... I will close the door and speak through the window. Hi, sir. How are you today? Uh, I'll be glad to speak to you about what transpired just now if we close the door. I don't feel safe doing that, sir. Okay. I'll be glad to comply with any lawful orders. I can lawfully order you out of the vehicle. I'll be glad to comply with anything that's lawful, but... Given what we've heard from you so far, I doubt you have the cognitive ability to understand or even dictate what is and what isn't lawful. Right now... Right now, he's in violation of my, uh, that I've informed him, and I'd like to speak to you regarding this while he uh, processes my paperwork. Could you please get my dri the, the driver's Step license the that I handed I'm you? I'm ordering you out of the vehicle. I'll You're be coming out of the vehicle one way or the other. Sir, if you put your hand on me, I'll charge you 1000 uh, silver dollars yeah, per incident. Do take a look around and see how things are. You're not exactly in the position to dictate terms of anything to anybody at this time. Oh yeah, and you can forget about the fee schedule because that's not exactly going to help you out in this situation either considering that the amount of fines that you're racking up will definitely be the uh, counterbalance to that. In other words, you will be paying out more than you than they will be owing you according to the fee schedule. I would be glad. Would you show that to him, please? Would you show that to him, please? Would you? Uh, I'll be glad to... Coming out of the car. Sir... And that's where the video ends, folks. I mean, the wife was at least able to produce the necessary documents to drive the vehicle away. But you know what? It also is a shame that uh, the children that they have had to be involved in that and see their father being a complete moron. That is just going to end up with another generation thinking that uh, being a sovereign citizen is the right thing to do when in all actuality, it is just a dead end path. Well, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.